So when we think about our whakapapa, it is constantly shaped and it requires the leaders to have their finger on the pulse, so to speak, and allow people to be authentic in their own individual way, but shape it in a way that, that brings the collaboration and connection of the entire group together. Kia ora, hi, I'm Craig Johns, high performance leadership expert, the CEO and managing partner of Speakers Institute Corporate and the founder of Gravity of Leadership. On today's episode of the Gravity of Leadership series, we're doing part one of a five part series on in our DNA. Now we're gonna have a look at this in regards to our culture of an organization. And when we think about most people think about values. Now I'm going to get you to think about what is your cultural DNA of your organization rather than values. So on this first episode, we're going to talk about Papa. Now Papa is a Maori term from New Zealand, so the Maori language. And Papa sort of translates from an interconnected, interwoven sort of strand of DNA from the past from our ancestors through to the present and the future. Now, when we think about this in a corporate setting, it is from the founders of the organization, that DNA is the interactions we have with every person that has worked with the company, plus the interactions with other people through to the current present and into the future for the generations we'll never meet. Now, in our Papa, it kind of explains that way of that your your culture isn't just a moment in time. It is a collection of those different moments throughout the years and everyone's interaction, input and characteristics blending together. Now that the DNA can be shaped. So when we think about our Papa, it is constantly shaped and it requires the leaders to have their finger on the pulse, so to speak and allow people to be authentic in their own individual way, but shape it in a way that, that brings the collaboration and connection of the entire group together and not forgetting about the past. And I see this sometimes in organizations where brand new leaders or CEOs come in or even, even new owners will come in and try to totally reconstruct a brand new DNA, so to speak but the DNA is already there. And if you do that, you're gonna have a fight. There'll be a struggle. And we need to stay, uh, it's important to hold true to what has happened in the past to help us shape a better future. So I want you to consider what is what makes up the DNA, the whakapapa of your organization, and how do you, how do you integrate the interwoven DNA of our, the ancestors of the organization through to the present and in the future to generations that you may never get to meet. Remember, it's important to create a gravitational pull, not a gravitational push as a leader. What is your gravity of leadership today? Ka kite anō. I'll see you next time.